should have to choose between their job and their safety. But for too many workers in Canada and around the world, gender-based violence and harassment is just part of the job. Garment workers, domestic workers, personal support workers, workers in every sector of the economy have all told us their stories of sexual remarks, being spat on, unwanted touching, being told that they cannot do men's work, all while they are on the job. There are millions of workers for whom violence and harassment is still a daily reality. Canada's unions and the Canadian Labour Congress are committed to moving from awareness to action. I'm B. Brusk, I'm the President of the Canadian Labour Congress, and I know that if we are going to truly realize the right, everyone's right, to a world of work free from violence and harassment, then we need to understand how workers experience it, which jobs and workers are most at risk, and who is most impacted. A solid foundation of evidence helps us mobilize for concrete, lasting change. We've seen the success of this approach. Recently, the CLC worked alongside partners on groundbreaking domestic violence at work initiatives. Our activism resulted in legislated access to paid domestic violence leave in almost every jurisdiction across Canada. But there is still so much more work to do. One of the first steps is ensuring Canada ratifies the International Labour Organization's Convention 190. But what governments, employers, workers, and their unions do next will really make the difference. Together, we can reduce risk, prevent violence and harassment. Together, we can respond appropriately and support survivors. Together, we can make work safer for everyone. I hope that you will join us.